Hello, my yoga friends. Um, this is our 30 days of yoga, and we are on the downhill end of that. I wanted to share something with you today called Yoga Nidra, and it's a meditative practice. And yoga has eight limbs. One is breath work, one is meditation, and then there's the physical practice, the asanas, as they are called. Um, and this is actually just kind of a practice where our asana is simply stillness. It's simply corpse pose and that's it. And what we're doing is we're actually taking time to tune into our bodies and to explore what things feel like. So what do my fingers feel like? What do my toes feel like? And just to kind of start to bring our awareness to different body parts so that we start to study and understand this vessel that we get to live in every single day. I've come to the conclusion that we should get a PhD in ourselves and that we are never trained about this. We learn, maybe, if you had anatomy and physiology courses, we learn about how it functions, but the real study is in being in it and understanding what those signals mean and what those cues mean so that we know what to do with that information because that's all it is, it's just information. So today we're gonna to get comfortable with our bodies. This is kind of a nice one for winding up the day. This would be a nice wind down activity, just a heads up. And if you're starting out your day, you're gonna be chilled for a while, so that will be lovely too. So go ahead and find your comfortable position and maybe you wanna prop yourself, prop those knees under some pillows or even rest your head on a pillow, um, but really allow yourself to be comfortable. So we'll go ahead and close the eyes once we're settled in. And simply start to observe the breath. Now notice how the floor feels underneath your body, fully supporting every part of your body, every bit from head to toe. Feeling what it's like to be fully supported. Noticing how the air feels against our skin. How when those air particles brush our skin, that little wisp. Now take your awareness to your right hand. What does it feel like? How does the palm feel? What about the back of the hand? And then take your awareness to your left shoulder. Observing the muscle and then going into the shoulder joint. What does it actually feel like inside of the joint? Noticing the right hip.
and the left knee. The right foot. How does the bottom feel? How does the arch feel? What about the top of the foot? What about inside, all of the muscles, all of the tendons, all of the bones? What does that feel like from the heel to the toes? And notice the left lower leg. Abdomen. How does the abdomen feel? What does your shirt feel like against your skin? What about the inside of the abdomen? How do those organs feel? How are they sitting inside of your body? the right glute. How does that bum feel on the right side? Then the left cheek. The left thigh. The right shoulder. The heart. the left palm, the right knee, the forehead, what does it feel like for your brain to rest inside of your skull? Can you start at the very base of your skull and feel that first vertebrae, the axis? And then can you travel down vertebrae by vertebrae? All the way down the spine. Until the last one is your tailbone. What do your nostrils feel like as air enters in and out? We'll start to understand our emotional body, start to connect with it. So imagine a time when you have felt full of joy. And notice where in your body you feel that and how that feels inside of your body. Think of a time when you felt extremely sad. How does that feel inside of your body? Where do you feel that? How does your body want to respond? Think of a time in your life when you've been when you've been really, really, really angry. What's happening in your body as you feel that anger?
Imagine a time when you felt maybe depressed. Notice where your body holds that tension. Think of a time when you felt excited. And notice how your body responds to that thought, to that feeling. Now think of a time when you felt nervous. And where do you notice that in your body? Think of a time when you felt scared. How does your body want to respond to that? Think of a time when you danced without, without inhibition. And notice how your body feels. Think of a time when you felt pure love. Now allow that feeling to go into every cell, to actually bathe your entire body. Because our emotions do that. They go from our brain and they change the chemistry in our body. And our cells have these receptors to pick up that information. So literally be in love, in the feeling of love which has a lot of feelings. There are a lot of ways to describe that and to define that in the English language. But in general, what does it feel like to be inside of unconditional love and to bring that into your body and into your being, into the depths of your soul so that you start to become unconditional love? Now simply observe any changes in your body that have happened throughout today's practice. Come back to observing your breath. Notice the floor underneath you. Notice the sounds of the space around you. Notice the smells.
gently start to wiggle the fingers and toes and allow yourself to gently, gently wake back up. And then slowly roll over to a side. and allow yourself to come back to a seated position. Awesome. That, my friends, is yoga nidra. And sometimes that's all we need is the mental practice of just tuning in, taking time to understand what's going on here and to give things a chance to release and move out. Emotion the definition of emotion is energy in motion. And if we don't figure out how to release it from our bodies, it actually gets stuck in our bodies. Yoga can be one way to help release those emotions. That's why sometimes for no reason, people will start to cry while they're um, in their practice. And it's because some of those pains are actually coming back up. It's physical, emotional, um, can even be trauma, like a physical trauma in the body that just is stuck there and needs another layer of healing. So all of those things can actually take place. And this is a great practice to do, you know, when you're tired, when you're really tired and you just don't have it in you to do a physical practice, but you know you need to show up to your mat. It's a great practice to do when you've had one of those days and you just need to breathe and allow yourself a space to be um, it's a great practice to do if you're recovering from something like an eating disorder um, because it helps you to reconnect to your body um, and helps you to get a sense of how did things feel? How does my body work? How is this? What is happening here? Um, so there are a lot of wonderful things that come out of a yoga nidra practice. And I don't know what you got out of it today. I hope that it was a helpful experience for you. And once again, I thank you for showing up on your mat. Namaste, my friends. Have a great rest, a great rest of your day and or evening, and I'll see you tomorrow.